Brady with the box. What was in the box? It's my November example box, Brad Pitt. Oh, uh, what's in the box? What? Why do you have a gun, Brad Pitt? What's in the fucking box? I'm gonna punch you in the face, Brad Pitt. So what is up, fellas, ladies? Here I am, back again. And I want to start this week off with a few apologies. First of all, I apologize for not making a video for the last few weeks. I don't want to make a ton of excuses, but I'm gonna, because that's what I do. But I just started a new job. Um, so that's taken a lot of my time. Also, the Thanksgiving holiday uh, obviously took up some time. Also took a trip to Arizona for a couple of days. Uh, actually should have brought my camera and done some, some like maybe field trip videos, but I didn't. So sorry about that. You probably didn't care anyway. Also, uh, my car took a dump. Um, so I've been, I've been doing, spent a lot of time trying to figure out if it's something I can fix or if I'm going to have to buy another car, which I don't know how the hell that's going to happen. But, uh, so if anybody happens to know how to walk me through changing out a fuse box, like the under the hood fuse box in a car, uh, feel free to, to let me know, hit me up. Uh, that'd be greatly appreciated because I'm freaking clueless. When I pull up the fuse box, it's got, you know, all the wires going into each one where the fuses are. And I don't even know how to take those off and put them back on because there's prongs coming out. And that's actually what, uh, I accidentally bent up and they detached so like my fuel injector fuse has no prongs for the fuse and I really don't want to buy another car because I don't have any money but I don't know what I'm doing so anyway also uh, another big apology I sat down to make this video finally because I do have a sample box uh, it's the November sample box so it's a little late but I'm really running low on on low mill nicotine sub ohm juices so I'm really glad I'm finally getting this done because I'm out of juice um, but I sat down to make this video heard a loud pop somewhere in the general vicinity of my neighborhood and my electricity's out so I don't know if the world has exploded uh, if it has I'll, I'll miss you guys and you'll never see this video so we both lose um, but I have no electricity so I have no lighting I open up my window but it's a cloudy rainy day here in the big D so uh sorry you don't need to see my face anyway you ain't you ain't missing nothing so after all that great great news I just gave you very entertaining uh we do have November sample box so as you can see it has not been opened like I said I am theming for some juice yo so uh let's crack this bad boy open uh as usual I will test all these out in my Aspire Nautilus simply because it's easy and the coils are pretty cheap so I can change coils every every juice and I'm not really out that much money. So without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. We'll use the Smith & Wesson cutting horse. Cutting, not cutting horse, cutting horse. Because that's the way we do it. And let's open her up, see what we got. Cutting away from a body. Oh, shison. Cutting away from my body. Now I'm cutting towards my body. I don't care. Safety. Safety's for losers. All right, so open her up. Here is the Dixie box. I don't know what that means, but here's my flavor. My flavor menu, which I'm not going to look at. We'll set that aside. Uh, let's see what I have here. Oh, here's my ranking, my little ranking card. Uh, Sample box sticker and sample box sticker, which I still love these things, so that's awesome. Remove the foam insert. And there's my bottles, my bottles, my bottles, yo. See them? See them bottles? Them's bitching. So what I'm gonna do is go through bottle by bottle. We'll cut away for refilling bottles because nobody has any time for that nonsense. Uh, give it a vape tell you what I think maybe give it a rating my ratings are pretty worthless but funnily enough I could look at any 
any juice that I've reviewed on my wall and pretty much remember the exact rating. That's weird. I'm like some sort of idiot savant. Heavy, heavy on the idiot. So without further ado, do let's look at the first bottle. First bottle will be, it is dark as in here. You can see Jack. So the first bottle looks like Maggie from Vape Goat, Vape, Vape Gert, Vape Gert. 50 mil, three milligrams, 70 VG, 30 PG. Oh yeah, Vape Gert. They have a Facebook, social media, whatnot. Does have child warnings, does have a, does have a childproof dropper cap. No, this is gonna be difficult to see, but it has a, a sweet cow on it. Or bull, I guess I see horns. I don't know what the hell all that's about. This is, this is kind of a neat white, white glass bottle, I guess. So that's bitching. So Maggie from Vape Gert. Sniff test. That definitely smells like yogurt. And it smells like mango, which, uh, is bitching because I am loving the mango. So again, through the use of movie magic and special defects, I have put some Maggie by Vape Gert in this sweet Aspire Nautilus. We'll run it on the Cool Fire 4. Um, 17 watts, you can't see that, who cares? 17 watts, 1.91 ohms it's reading at. See how she burps. Yes. Very, very delicious. Um, I was right, that is definitely a mango yogurt. It is definitely a mango yogurt. Uh, maybe a bit of strawberry in there. Really good, really nice. Um, I'm actually really, really enjoying yogurt flavors as well. So mango yogurt, uh, top notch. Uh, I've never heard of this company, Vape Gert, but maybe that's what they specialize in, yogurt flavors, and this is probably why, because that is delicious. So uh, I'm going with a mango yogurt, maybe some strawberry. Maybe strawberry, maybe raspberry, but delicious, whatever the fudge it is. So uh, we'll go out of 10, I'd go with a, I'd go with a seven. We'll go with a seven. Seven, Maggie from Vape Gert. I wonder what that, I wonder who Maggie is. Is she on Family Ties? I don't know. Moving right along, we have Cereal Milk by Kilo. Kilo. Has an expiration date, all your child warnings, glass bottle. Kilo, never had a Kilo brand before. Uh, cereal Milk, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. As I've said oft times before, I do love cereal vapes and I do prefer the cereal vapes that taste more milky. So hopefully this is one of those. Does have a childproof dropper cap. That is definitely cereal. Hope that's the electric company fixing my mother effing electricity energy. Uh, and that smells, hmm, that smells a lot tricksy. A lot like tricks, um, kind of lemony. Kilo does say handcrafted in California. Premium e-liquid company, 15 mils. So let's see how she tastes, yo. Cereal milk. Mmm. Definitely, uh, definitely Fruit Loops. Smells like tricks, but tastes more like Fruit Loops and very milky. Yeah, probably the milkiest I've had since breakfast at Telios. That's really good. I'll go with an 8.2. That's fair. That's fair and accurate. 8.2. Cereal milk by Kilo. Handcrafted in California. California. All right, enough of all that nonsense. Next up we have Deuce's Wild Liquid. And I believe the flavor is called Starstruck. As you can see three milligrams. It's actually a pretty bitchin' bottle. Uh, here's all your warnings and whatnot. I like this bottle. So Starstruck is another another company that I've never tried before. Um, doesn't seem to be any context clues on what this flavor would be. Ah, I smell watermelon. I, that smells like watermelon, not now or late. Uh, 
Yeah, like now and laters. Not not Jolly Ranchers, but watermelon now and laters. Or as we say in Texas, now or laters. It's not now or laters. It's now and laters. Eat some now, save some for later. I don't know where now or laters came from. Is that just a Texas thing? Let me know, because I don't know. But anyway, we got some Starstruck here. Um, see what she tastes like. See if uh, she tastes as bitchin' as her bottle looks. Ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. That is really good. Um, that tastes like a... Man, that's kind of weird. It's, it tastes delicious, but it's like a candy watermelon cream. Like a creamy... Like if you melted a now and later and creamed it. I don't, not all in your mouth. If it, it tastes like a creamy, creamy watermelon. There's something else though. It's not just watermelon. Maybe some kind of citrus. Shison. I don't know. Creamy watermelon citrus. That's a weird combo to even say. But uh, man, it's, that's good. That's good. That's um. I'd give that another seven. That's definitely above average. Good, good. Verging, verging on, verging on very good. Yeah, oh, good. I give that a thumbs up. That's three thumbs up. Starstruck, Deuce is Wild. S select Vapor Liquid. I don't know what that means. All right, next up, moving right along, we have Gilligan's by G2 Vapor, and holy crap, it says pineapple coconut. <laughs> so, uh, the mystery, the mystery again is gone. Ooh, a UPC code, what the blood clot? Does that happen often? There's your warnings and ingredients and whatnot. Glass bottle, 15 mil, three milligram nicotine. Pretty excited because pineapple coconut, even though the mystery is ruined, uh, sounds like the cat's meow to me. I love tropical, tropical fruits, tropical beaches, tropical chicks. I am a fan of the tropical drink in pina colada, the girly tropical drink, pina coladas, the shit. And that's what that smells like. I can definitely smell pineapple and coconut. That's pina colada. So let's see if it's a good pina colada. That is heaven all in my mouth hole. Oh, hell yeah. That, uh, that is orgasmic that is a pina colada and it's delicious um you can you can taste the pineapple you can taste the coconut and it is fantastic that's a nine that is easily a nine uh that may be top five for me right now g2 vapor hats off to you friends i'm calling next to lasties on bottles and this is cliff racer I guess that's the, the company, which I've never heard of before. And the flavor is peach goozy, goozy, it's not Gucci. I know how to spell Gucci, uh, goozy. I don't know, is that Italian? I don't know how to say it, I apologize. There's your warnings, ingredients list is three milligrams of nicotine. I don't know what the hell that is, is that a roach? Yeah, I literally don't know. It looks like a roach or an inverted robot penis. Maybe it's a goozy. I should Google that. Maybe that's the Italian Google. I don't know. All proof dropper cap, that's five for five. So again, fantastic. Thank you, e-liquid companies, for protecting my children from your juice, I guess. Strangely enough, that doesn't smell like peach. Oh, yeah, yeah. It smells like peach. Peach yogurt? Peach... Ah. Oh, let's see. Let's vape it and see. Come on, George Lucas. Let's do this. You and me, buddy. Disney. Whatever. All right. Movie Magic. Peach Goozy by... What the hell? Sorry. Cafe Racer. These are some weird, that's weird ass names all around. Confused. Let's see how she vapes. 
Hey, there goes the electric company. My, maybe my electricity's about to be back on and I quit living in the stone ages. Like some kind of hobo. Okay. Not loving this, not loving this, uh, but not hating it. This is, uh, I'm gonna go and say a five because it's not good and it's not bad. It's okay. Um, I do love peach. Uh, I prefer like a candied peach and this is more like a fresh peach, but it's almost like a peach custard with something else that I cannot identify. I don't know. I don't know, man. Peach custard. Some, I don't know. Some kind of herbs or some shit. I don't know. Uh, again, I'm not gonna give this a thumbs up. I'm gonna give it one of, one of these, or one of these. I don't, I don't know what the hell that is. One of these, because it's not bad. This is not something that I'll, I'll give away and not vape, because it's okay. But uh, it's, it's not my favorite. So there, uh, not a letdown, but not a not a thumbs up either. So, mm. but it's okay. Peach goozy, peaches and custard, and some garbage. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to give that more of a more of a, put that in a sub ohm tank and see see if I can't pick out more what that is. I don't like vaping high VG three milligram juices on this, which I, I'm, I'm gonna have to refine my, my testing process maybe and just get a bunch of like crown coils or something because um, I've noticed a lot of times when I'll try a flavor in here, it tastes vastly different in a sub ohm tank when I'm pushing, you know, 75 watts and blowing out. You know, you get a much more sampling of that flavor and you're able to pick more things out. So maybe that'll get better. Maybe it'll get worse than a sub ohm tanks. But for now, I'm gonna give it a five and I'm gonna give it a, a five and give it one of these. Not a thumbs down, but not a thumbs up either. So let's move on to the last bop. All right, and here she is. Thank you, Window Glare, for effing up my world. How hard is it to keep electricity on? I don't understand. It's the, it's the aughts. It's the, no, it's the 15s. I don't even know what you call this decade. Anyway, Paradise by Cali Steam. Oh, it looks like we got a pair with some sweet shades. Some sort of, what the hell is that? Some sort of strawberry. So strawberry pear. That's a cool, that's a cool bottle. Uh, amber glass, have your three milligrams. Max VG it says. Uh, that says something I can't really see, made in California. And your child warnings and whatnot. So six for six on the childproof dropper caps. Uh, upon closer inspection of this Cali Steam Paradise. Ha ha ha. P-E-A-R. A dice. That's clever. I didn't catch that at first. Apparently I cannot read. But upon closer inspection, it seems to be a pear, a strawberry, and a little kiwi chunk, all wearing sweet sunshades. So, I'm gonna guess strawberry pear, kiwi, kiwi. Ooh, man, you can definitely smell the pear. All right, so got a little uh, paradise up in here. Two tickets to pear, two tickets to paradise. One time I had a, a lady working customer service who told me I should grow a pear. And I told her, I ain't no pear farmer, lady. And I got fired. So let that be a lesson to you. Um, fruit humor apparently isn't funny. Who knew? All right, Paradise. Enough of the, enough of the jokes. Paradise by Callie Steen. This is the last bottle and maybe she's the best. Mmm. That is a really nice pear. I'm a big fan of pear and strawberry. Uh, there's a bunch of house liquids I get that are strawberry pear. Uh, this beats them all. Um, I'm not getting, I'm not getting a lot of kiwi, but you do get a little, a little kiwi on the exhale, not so much on the inhale. But man, that's really nice. Uh, I may start having to add kiwi to house juices. Strawberry, pear, kiwi. You get all three. That's a, that's a nice mix. That's a. 
We'll give that a 7, 7.5. That's, that's in the very good range. Brilliant. Absolutely. That's good. All right. Um, so five for six this week with a one alternate. Not a, not a thumbs down, but an alternate. So not bad. Uh, after two weeks of six for sixes, uh, I can take a five for six. Because again, I get the gold package from Zamplebox, www.zamplebox.com. That's six 15 mil bottles, 90 mils of e-liquid for $24.99. Which again, if you do the math, you break out your abacus, start flipping beads and whatnot, you'll come up with a little over four bucks a bottle. So premium e-liquid 15 mils, four bucks a bottle, not too shabby. Um, speaking of not too shabby, I don't want to go on a little tangent, but I'm gonna because I have no electricity and I'm in danger of not, of not seeing the Cowboy game, which is pissing me off. But anyway, um, I have a couple reviews coming up. I did purchase the X-Cube 2 and the TFV4, so there's two reviews right there that I'll have coming up. Um, again, I like to get at least two weeks of testing a product out before I let you guys know what I think. And I have a couple of e-liquids from... Um, a company that was recommended by a subscriber so I'm really excited to try those out but I also want to see if you guys were interested uh, there's a lot of other youtubers that are actually famous that have 200,000 subscribers and have their own e-juice line um, twisted 420 is one of them he has actually two lines suck my mod has a line uh, there's a couple other, I think Grim Green has a line, Rip Trippers has a line. So if you guys are interested in me trying those out, let me know because I'm probably going to do it anyway because I'm interested in how those things taste. A lot of the flavor profiles seem really good and some are really interesting and I'm interested in trying them out. So if that's something you want to see, let me know and I'll definitely make sure that happens. But uh, again, Zample Box, if you're interested, go to the website. Still tinkering with my flavor profiles. I'm pretty religious about it. If I like something, I make sure and check it off and let them know. If I don't, I make sure and check it and make sure they don't. And I'm, I'm, it's morphing every, every week into things that fit my flavor profile even better. I'm not getting garbage. Like my first couple of boxes, I'd get things and I'm like, what, what is this? I, I have no interest in this. So I'm not getting that anymore, which is really exciting to me. So I'll link their website in the description below and check them out if you're interested. Um, and that's all I have to say about that. So there you go. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. Throw me a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or could tell me how to fix my mother effing car, piece of crap, leave those comments in the comments section or sh send me a private message. We'll rectify that situation. And again, I'm sorry that you had to spend a couple of weeks without seeing this beautiful face. And I'm sorry that I have no electricity because apparently I live in a cave in Afghanistan. But beyond that, I'd like to remind you guys to mob that bitch till the wheels fall off. Get him out! Mm -hmm.